much. Our team is spread out from Washington to Iran. Martha Raditz is there starting us off with the latest. Good morning, Martha. Good morning, Robin. I have been in the midst of anti-American protests in Iran before, but nothing like this. A powerful combination of grief and anger with shouts of death to America echoing through the streets around us. This morning, mourners filling the streets of Iran's capital of Tehran for the funeral of General Soleimani, killed by that U.S. drone strike last week. Aerial images capturing the sea of Iranians, packing the streets to pay tribute to a man revered by many here. Trump made a big mistake. He killed our hero. Soleimani's image everywhere. The impact of his death profound. The crowds are massive and emotional. There are many tears here, many signs with Soleimani's picture on them. But the message is also very clear. These people want revenge. As we made our way through the streets of Tehran, people surrounding us shouting death to America. We will have very hard rebrand of Mr. Trump. Inside the funeral service, the emotion just as powerful. The supreme leader of Iran weeping and praying over a coffin draped in the Iraqi flag. This is the largest funeral in Iran since the death of the Ayatollah Khomeini in 1989. Today, calls for jihad. Members of the Iranian parliament also chanting death to America. And a red flag symbolizing a declaration of war raised above an Iranian mosque on Saturday. Soleimani's replacement as head of the Quds Force calling for revenge. The leader of Iranian-backed Hezbollah saying American soldiers and officers will be going home in coffins. And Soleimani's own daughter making a televised plea with Hezbollah to take revenge for the blood of her father. This morning, the Iranian government announcing they're suspending commitments to the 2015 nuclear deal, abandoning limits on enriching uranium and stockpiling nuclear fuel. This as Iraq has now voted to expel all American troops and submitting a complaint against the U.S. for violation of sovereignty to the United Nations. Just six months ago when we were here, some people were...